Right now, it's all about Fort Worth and the incredible diving dog competition. Before we get rolling, Shalene, what's the key to success here? Getting right up to the edge of the dock and making as big a leap as possible to get maximum distance. This is basically the long jump for dogs. It is a fan favorite. Hot here in the Fort Worth area at the Texas Motor Speedway, so I'm sure all the dogs are loving the pool and cooling off. Three rounds of the Incredible Diving Dog. One round already in the books. It is the best of three that will count in the end. And leading after the first, 29 feet 6 inches by Golden Eagle. Boom with a 29-footer as well. Bella in third with 28 feet 10. Now it is Wicked is the dog. Andrea McManus is the handler, the four-year-old female mix from Humble, Texas. We'll see what they can pull together for their second round. Now jump one, they had a 27 foot three inch jump. Way out there. So coming in with 26 feet one inch, jump one was farther at 27 plus feet. But you see, all competitors have a bumper, a ball, a disc, whatever it is. The dogs don't just jump for no reason. It's their prey drive going after whatever is being thrown out into the water for them. So the throw matters. Jenny Pike and Fang. Fang's a four-year-old male, border whippets. Listen. <laughs> Some good communication there. Good communications, not a great throw though. The bumper landing behind Fang in the pool. 27 feet, six inches though, so an improvement on the jump. But if that throw would actually be leading him out into the pool, imagine the extra distance there would be. It's judged by where the dog's furthest part of the body enters the water. Next to go in round two, it is Heidi Patterson and her dog Bella, a six-year-old female Labrador. They're from San Antonio, Texas. Here we go. go, 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 go. Nice height on that one. Good laid out position. And 28 feet. Their first one though, Shaleen, 28 feet, 11 inches. That's the best so far for them. So we used to see all kind of the water breeds, all the Labrador retrievers and whatnot in this event. But over the years, it has really switched up. We've seen lots of different breeds. We've seen different breeds start to excel. So your dog just needs to love the water. Good to see the labs back though. <laughs> yes. Here's Penny Mann and Golden Eagle. She's a professional dog trainer. She's competed in several events, freestyle flying disc with two different dogs in 2006, seven and 14. Now she's in the incredible diving dog competition here in Fort Worth, multi-talented. So Penny Mahon and Golden Eagle with a 29 foot seven inch jump. So they will remain in the top spot. Big distance up close to the edge. Look at the height. But that disc, again, if it could have led Golden Eagle out into the water more, I bet they could have maximized some more inches in the pool. All right, so that brings us to Boom and Cindy Greenslade. Nine-year-old male, border whippet mix. Second place in Huntington Beach in 2021 and 2022. Nationals in 2022, they had a sixth place finish. Not as big as their first jump here. 28 feet, nine inches. You know, we talk about all the different breeds. The whippets have really advanced in this competition because they're putting their speed to use on the dock to just catapult out into the water. So it's interesting how each dog uses their own attributes and natural abilities. Absolutely, and here are the final competitors in round number two before we get into the third round. It is Jonathan Offey and his dog Crackle, four-year-old male, Mel Noir, Greyhound, Pitbull, Mix, boom! Way out there. Coming in 25.05, their first round is what they'll keep so far with 27 feet, three inches. You can see Crackle in the pool. This is just goes to show you they are jumping for the sole purpose of getting what is being thrown. You can see him looking around and saying, you know, where is it, where is it? I have to complete this. <laughs> so two different dogs creeping up on the 30 foot mark, that being Boom at 29 feet, four inches and Golden Eagle at 29.7. Here's what their handlers had to say. 
I have to place the disc a little bit better so it's all on me. No pressure, right? And then that way it'll be further out in front of her and a little higher, and she should go a little bit further in the pool. Her personal best is 31, so getting close to that is really exciting. I was so excited for the crowd, and uh, this is a sport she loves so much, so we're just happy to be here at this great event. Coming up, the third and final round of incredible diving dogs. Stay put. Golden Eagle right now is the distance to beat with Penny Mahon at 29 feet 7 inches. We talked about those dogs getting close to that 30 foot mark. We'll see if anyone can get over it now. We'll kick it off with Andrea McManus and Wicked. And their best so far, 27 feet 3 inches. So they're looking for an upgrade and a spot on the podium. Going for the good throw and the energy. You know, and how do you get involved in this sport? Your dog has to like the water, number one. You know, we have a giant schnauzer, loves the water. One of our mini schnauzers can't even get her to put her toenails in it. So you know that out of the gate. So they'll get fifth place with that first distance wow. of 27 feet. And speaking of toenails, those toenails were basically over the edge by Wicked. That was great use of the distance on the dock and putting the inches in the pool. Now, these guys won our walk-on qualifier yesterday. So could you imagine that? Showing up, trying to qualify. Now you're in the big show. This is Jenny Pike and Fang. Almost caught that mid-air and their biggest jump. Yeah, settle for fourth at the moment with that 27 feet 11 inches. So next step, if you want to come out and qualify or get into this and you start practicing with your dog, you have to let them know how to get in and out of the pool. They need to know where that entry and exit is. It's Heidi Patterson and Bella, their best so far, 28 feet, 10 inches. They have the goods. Here we go. Go, go, go. Oh! Lots of height. Good thing that pool was extended 30 feet. So now we have our first dog going over the 30 foot mark. It's a combination of speed, getting right up to the edge. You can see those paws right to that white line. Look at that height. Speed, height, distance, laid out entry. That's what does it. And a great throw, leading the dog. But he does turn backwards. So he could have gotten a lot more distance, I think, if that bumper would have been out in front of his nose. Penny Mann and Golden Eagle. 2022, the Incredible Dog Challenge third place winners at the National Championship Finals. So we know that Golden Eagle's gone over 30. Oh! Big. Way out there. They had the lead, they lost it. Now they just got it back. 30 feet, 11 inches, Shaleen. Massive. Doing what they know Golden Eagle can do. Third step for your dog to do this, gotta have that prey drive instinct. Look at the disc, the ball, the bumper. That was not a great throw, but that did not stop the air propulsion yeah. and Golden Eagle jumping off of that dock. Huge jump and into first place. You can see this is uh, how they judge it in the truck. Farthest body part to enter the water. Next up, it is Boom and Cindy Greenslade. Now two competitors left after Lee Crackle and Jonathan Offie. 30 feet 11 inches is the mark to beat. Their best so far, 29 feet, four inches. That was out there. And an improvement. Yeah, 29 feet, six inches. So third place at the moment with one competitor remaining on the podium for now. And a big splash out into that pool. The key today is all these dogs are getting right up to the edge of the dock. It's 40 feet long. And some dogs you see take off really far back, but if they can get up to the edge, then all the distance goes into the water. Now, Jonathan Offie, this is the first time Crackles competed in diving dog. Jonathan Offie entertains audiences with 13 rescue dogs all over the country, does a great job in their best, 27-3, and they'll keep that as the best and settle for fifth. So all rescue dogs, he does an amazing job focusing their drive. But as you can see here, the takeoff, way far back from the edge. That's what I was just talking about. Had all that, all those feet from the dock been put out into the water, that would have been a much different jump. So that means Golden Eagle is golden here in Fort Worth. And Sean is standing by with the winners. So much fun to watch you jump, Penny, because we're not used to seeing that. You have a long storied career with us all over the place. Talk about that. 
Thank you, I do, and it's always an incredible experience. And we started in like 2005 in DISC. So I've had two different dogs, this is my third, but two different dogs that have podiumed um, at the finals and at the regionals in DISC. And so when I got Eagle, we actually had intentions for her to play DISC, and she still will, but she literally has shown me this is what I want to do, Mom. All right, well, congratulations. You know, on the podium last year at the finals, now you're heading back to nationals. Once again, great job. Trace, let's send it back to you guys. Thank you. If you like dogs, too, subscribe to NBC Sports' YouTube channel for more.